Toolbox. Rational Geographic. There are many species on planet Earth. Hundreds of them. Thousands of them. Hundreds of thousands. Thousands of thousands. Hundreds of thousands of millions. Millions and millions. Of but only one of them is capable of rational thought. Don't tell me. Human beings. That's right. Today in Rational Geographic, breaking up. Hello, I'm Bob. If they want to copulate, many humans are obliged to remain in stable relationships or to pay for it. Nevertheless, these stable relationships eventually come to an end. We're going to see how it can happen. Uh, we have to talk. I need more space. We need some time apart. You deserve someone better than me. I love you, but not in that way. It isn't about you. It's about me. Neither of us is to blame. We're basically incompatible. I hope we can still be friends. Uh, what? Without these handy phrases, humans would be obliged to reveal the true reasons for the breakup, which would give rise to humiliating situations. I despise you. You're insignificant. When I see you in the nude, it makes me want to puke my guts up. You're so mediocre that in a mediocrity contest, you'd come second. And you're so unintelligent that you probably haven't understood a single word of what I just said. Uh, what? All too often, sheer cowardice means that humans will put off a breakup beyond any reasonable limit or deliver their message using methods best described as devious. Oh, well, Bonnie, I think my time is near. You and I have been so happy together. Uh, you're leaving me? You're breaking up with me by text message? Uh, although we could have one last roll in the hay for old time's sake. There are so many reasons why a human may decide to break up a relationship. Sheer boredom, the excessive use of flesh-colored underwear, or when their partner's back is particularly hairy. Especially if their partner's a woman. But there's one cause of breakups that is observed more frequently than any other. Infidelity. Hi, honey. I'm oh. home. Son of a bitch. Listen, darling, I can explain. This isn't what it looks like. Uh, that depends. What does it look like? It looks like a water polo team taking turns to make love to you in groups of three. Ah, uh, well, no. In that case, it is what it looks like. Unbelievable, isn't it? See you in the next episode of Rational Geographic, you animals. No rational animal was harmed during the making of this documentary. Well, just a few. <laughs>